the king or at least his sons on the front line, and kings almost always lost their sons while they're driving like six or seven of them. If you didn't have family members die in a war, you were overthrown. Only now in the modern age do elites march people off to war and their kids aren't in the game. So absolutely, I love all these warmongers. Most of the neocons never were in the military and they want to have all these wars. What do you think of that? I think uh, it was their idea. They should start them. No, I agree. I mean, there's nothing worse than some, some smart mouth who's never been in a fight starting fights. Let me tell you something. You've been in some real fights. You don't want to start anymore. You know, because, I mean, you know, fighting as an adult male is dangerous. It hurts bad. And, and, and you know, there's so many people want to be tough guys, write checks their mouths can't cash. Their mouths write checks their bodies can't cash. And uh, it's, it's a scary situation. And that's why some people now shoot each other. Even though overall shootings are down, there's still the case where somebody starts a fist fight, starts losing, they pull a gun. And it's because they thought something else was going to happen in this fight they got into. Great points. I appreciate your call, Skip. Let's talk to Albert in FEMA Region 10. I guess you're out on the former West Coast. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing today? Doing all right, yeah, brother. I just wanted to keep... I just wanted to give you a little prediction here that I see about this immigration thing. You're going to have these vast populations popping up all over the places in a lot of the major cities and whatnot, and you're going to see gang violence and drugs escalate to an exponential proportion. You know, you get, you got to realize, remember a couple weeks ago you had that deal about the Border Patrol and the threats on the billboards and things like that from the cartels down in Mexico. Well, I believe that a lot of these immigrants are actually going to be mules for them and distributors for them, and Obama's allowing them in and carry down. No, no so, sir, that, that's actually already in the intelligence reports being put up by different federal agencies. We saw those last week that this fog of hundreds of thousands of people born across extra is a perfect fog for the mules. And people say, oh, well, so what? It's drugs, you know, decriminalized. Yeah, to shut off the criminals making the money. But while it's still illegal, you got to stop them down there because they're the suppliers and they're involved in kidnapping. Every, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, my God, I am scared to go to Mexico now, folks. And I, it's a beautiful country. There's a State Department warning on it. Mexico has collapsed. And it's, who was the state senator we had on two years ago with the Pentagon prediction that Mexico would collapse within two years? I had the state senator on that exposed it. Turned out there's a secret plan with the Texas guard to try to stop it if the feds won't I, we could see the whole border collapse look this is just the beginning if obama legalizes these illegals that are pouring across what's going to happen it's going to bring even bigger floods that too but also you're going to see such an escalation in gang violence alex it's just going to be off the hook with gang violence that's going to justify the militarization of the police force which will be the false flag no i hear you no, that's it. That's why the globalists get more power. The worse things get, the more power they get. Used to, if something happened bad on your watch, you had to resign or you went to jail. In America, when FEMA didn't help in Katrina, they got double the funding. When we get attacked by Saudi Arabia, we attack Iraq. If you believe the official story. Great points. Uh, Bob, we got a minute and a half left. Sorry to Ken and everybody else. I'm out of time. Bob, last caller. Go ahead. Great. I just want to make a couple of points, Alex. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard Milton Friedman talk about immigration, but I, I don't care if they open the borders, let everybody in. But you don't get benefits, okay? I mean, that, no, that, no, 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 that's, that's it. Exactly. Immigration's a good thing if the people don't get benefits. Right. It controls the motivation factor. Are you coming here for opportunity and freedom, or are you coming here for benefits? That tells you it right away. Another thing is these illegal aliens would be a great way to introduce a bioweapon. Thanks, Alex. Really good points. we got time to go to... Reggie now. Reggie, you got 45 seconds. Go ahead. Reggie's listening to the radio. Ken in Nevada. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Long-time listener. First-time caller. Welcome. Here's my point. we got a lot of problems with this country, but here's the main thing. You know, if you go to another country and you want to go and work, you've got to show papers, documentation, why and how come you're there. Our country... We just let them wide open, and nobody wants to address the problem. Congress, Senate, oh, we got to give these poor people all these different... Uh, and citizens right? have to pay for it 
and it's the it's unskilled workers and kids coming in it's the worst type of immigrants period criminals you name it i mean it, it's cloward in heaven folks <laughs> i mean they're funding al qaeda to christians right now are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes are you happy paying new higher prices for smaller boxes find your happiness today with our one to four year supply